Hi, we are so excited that you are here. I'm Emmanuel and I'd like to officially welcome you to talk about Google's certification program in project management. Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about project management and a few other topics. So first, we're going to discuss how to get big project done and what are the steps involved. So the next thing we're going to talk about is setting a stage for a successful project. So we're going to talk about what are the requisites for setting up a successful project. And we're also going to discuss about some management terms that we're going to use during project management. And we're going to talk about who's the entry level manager and what are the roles and responsibilities that an entry level manager has. Then we're going to talk about how to add a value to an organization and discuss the steps involved. After that, we're going to talk about the role of a project manager and we're going to also discuss the management skills that a project manager needs to have and uh, you know the steps involved in managing a task also we're going to talk about budgeting and you know after that we're going to talk about how to start exploring the various opportunity for project management and we're going to talk about types of jobs in terms of project management what are the available jobs and event manager intern so let's start with a simple exercise take a moment and think about some of the different tasks that you have completed maybe uh, you planned your wedding or a birthday party or you file your annual tax returns you know Maybe you move from one state to other, or uh, maybe you're uh, the family member who somehow every year is tasked to organize something, you know, like a family uh, annual reunion. You know, uh, believe it or not, uh, you've been developing all kinds of skills through these tasks and uh, that'll help you become a successful project manager for any organization or your business. You know, with this program in project management, you know, we put together uh, a set of courses or activities, you know, uh, quizzes and exercises for you that will teach you uh, the fundamentals of project management and of course help you uh, get a job or advance in your career let's start so how to get a big project done when i was working to bring different groups together you know around a common goal that's when i realized uh, i had a lot of core project management skills and uh, you know i could focus on growing and developing uh, them in the business world you know, I'm very grateful that I get to be here for the start of your journey. So when I was first starting to think about my career uh, in project management, uh, you know, that wasn't even in my thoughts that it was one of the best professions that I didn't even know uh, it existed until I entered the business world and experienced how great of a need there is uh, for people who are organized, uh, action-oriented, diligent, and strategic. You know, I hope that by the end of this video, you know, you would be excited as I am, you know, about the prospects of a career in project management. Okay, let's get into it. We'll start with an important question. What exactly is project management? So my definition is, Project management uh, is an application of knowledge, skills, uh, tools and techniques to meet the project requirements so, um, so that we can achieve uh, the desired outcome. So it is possible that you've been project managing every day on the same level uh, without even knowing it. So you might be doing a lot of project management on yourself on a daily basis. In this course, you'll be learning how to you know, uh, hone those skills and become a truly great project manager. And the awesome thing about project management 
is uh, it spans a lot of industries and company types and it uh, doesn't require uh, much deep technical knowledge. So this means that any job of life experience uh, you've gained so far is going to help you in project management and will help you building those skills. And uh, you might become successful in a project management career. So there are a lot of people around the world like you know, uh, who are hoping to learn the skills, to get a project management role, uh, whatever uh, your reason for being here. Uh, we're glad that you've joined us. And in this program, uh, we've rooted ourselves in a belief that a strong foundation in project management can help anyone start a great career, um, you know, as a project manager. Uh, you know, this program includes uh, uh, six industry relevant courses that focus on topics like project management fundamentals, uh, you know, goals, objectives, and derivatives. So risk management is also part of it. And uh, team dynamics, project management methodologies, and data-driven decision making, and more. Um, each course is made up of uh, personal anecdotes uh, reading materials and quizzes and case studies and you can go through the program at your own pace and uh, skip the sections that you might already know or uh, you don't want and uh, you can review uh, this video again if you need a refresher course on uh, project management. So you'll be doing a lot of hands-on learning uh, build project plans and timelines. Uh, you'll learn how to manage budgets and meet the needs of people, you know, the people involved in the project. And you learn different project methodologies like Agile, you know, Scrum and Waterfall. So you will use uh, tools like Kanban and learn about project management software like Asana. You know, you'll also develop your uh, soft skills. Some of you likely already have uh, experience. Don't worry if you know if you aren't quite sure how to tap into them yet. We'll explore uh, which skills are transferable to a project management role. Um, above all, this program will uh, help you get ready for a new job. But uh, we are uh, taking it one step further. When you complete this program, you will have an opportunity to uh, actually share your work with us and other top employers, you know, aiming to hire project management professionals, you know, and the best part is you will have, uh, you know, uh, professional work examples uh, you can share with them to uh, showcase what you have already learned along the way. So, um, employees like me, you know, we'll share personal stories about how we became project managers and how our foundations in the project, um, you know, project management launched our careers. Uh, we'll also share what we do uh, every, every day. I'm talking about the work and uh, give you tips on in interviews. Uh, we've got truly amazing group of uh, people, you know, uh, for you to uh, learn from and uh, ready to meet them. So they would talk about security programs uh, and, uh, and all those uh, important stuff. So we'll need uh, what's needed to set the stage for a successful project. So I have to definitely have knowledge about uh, Google Cloud and uh, you will need to know more about planning, you know, putting it together and uh, learn the importance through project planning. You know, you can identify key milestones and dependencies, you know, uh, documenting project plans, scheduling, uh, budgeting and risk management. And, um, you know, also you need a little bit of technical skills, you know, um, to work with the program, you know, project ex execution, you know, running a project and uh, how to communicate effectively. Uh, you know, managing risks and understanding team dynamics, uh, you know, using data and uh, informed decision making and taking this technical uh, expertise to be serious 
and, uh, and also there is agile project management where we'll gain a deeper understanding of uh, what's agile project management and that includes principles like you know best practices benefits costs of agile transformations dynamics of agile teams and the process of running sprints and releases you know um, and uh, you would also need to do a little bit of research. Researching is very important in uh, project management in the real world, you know, where we'll take all the knowledge, skills, and understanding, you know, how you built up throughout, uh, you know, the process, and apply it to an advanced project management scenario, uh, ready to get started. Uh, and okay, so 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 far we have previewed, uh, you know what is Google uh, project management and all that. So in this video, we'll discuss the details of this course and you will have a greater understanding for which type of jobs are uh, suitable for learners like you. Uh, well, um, we'll cover uh, some key project management terms and the roles and responsibilities uh, of uh, any entry level manager uh, plus we'll discuss the kinds of jobs you can pursue after you uh, sort of complete this program and again uh, you learn soon that there is uh, other roles uh, in jobs outside of the project management uh, this uh, program will prepare you for uh, later in this course uh, you know um, how to search for those roles we'll be talking about and how to view project management as both a position and a skill. But for now, we'll uh, start by going even deeper uh, into what a project is and what a project manager is and uh, you know what kinds of skills they have. We'll provide real life examples to help illustrate that uh, you probably have uh, learned some of the skills uh, that is required already to become a successful project manager. Then you'll learn uh, more about uh, adding value to those projects and uh, tips on being successful project manager um, from uh, you know uh, experienced people. Pretty exciting, right? So uh, we'll uh, also cover the project's life cycle and you will learn all about a project's different phases. Uh, uh, and corresponding tasks in each phase uh, in different methodologies for completing those tasks. Uh, and uh, it is effective for a given project. And finally, you know, you learn about different types of organizational structures and cultures uh, and how they impact project management. Mm, so coming up, uh, we'll start exploring the concept of a project and the project management field as a whole. Let's get you top notch on all of these things. Great, uh, so we'll define a project. So um, project management and how to add value to an organization. So a uh, project is a unique, you know, an undoer usually includes a set of unique deliverables. It is also a temporary pursuit. Uh, it has a definite beginning and an end. Um, to put it the other way, a project is like a series of tasks that need to be completed uh, to reach desired outcomes. It takes collaboration and careful planning that keeps on uh, the project, you know, helps you track the project and budget. That's where the project management comes in. You know, uh, it's very important. You know, project management is really critical to the success of projects of both small and big. And let's break it into uh, uh, the what and why and how and what is the project management? Why is project management so important part of an organization and how it is vital uh, to a project's success? As I mentioned, uh, project management is the application of uh, knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques uh, to meet the project requirements and achieve a uh, desired outcome. Um, a project management is valuable 
uh, to businesses because it helps you know ensure a project uh, delivers uh, the expected outcomes. Um, so we also have to think about the time and the budget to get real life results. So let's imagine a school district signs a deal with a health company to make sure that students have to miss the school for simple health issues like uh, fevers or headaches. They will be completed by the end of uh, the school year and the students now interact with the doctor through a tablet or a smartphone um, or a computer. While uh, they are at school, you know, uh, implementing this technology into school's procedures, you know, is the project and uh, it's got a clear outcome that these students, you know, must get help. So um, this project has several tasks and each one has uh, been, uh, has to be carefully planned and tracked or managed in order for the comp completion of the project. For example, uh, you can organize training sessions for the faculty to get them bigger, uh, you know, uh, and better uh, acquainted with the technology that we are implementing and uh, also policies and procedures uh, and the budget for tablets and computers and the vital equipment to facilitate the virtual checkups that we are planning through this uh, project. You can maintain a strong communication uh, with doctors, the health company and the school staff uh, and so much more to actually um, launch the product in the schools. All of these needs to be done. So you have prepared a list like this and uh, this is basically project management. So it seems pretty important to an organization's uh, success, uh, right? Uh, more and more companies are starting to understand how project management can save them lots of money and uh, time and poor project management can lead to trillions of wasted dollars every year uh, for organizations around the world. And more specifically, you know, poor management can lead to you know, uh, ending of projects, missing delivery dates, you know, uh, missing uh, budgets, and, uh, you know, targets, failing to meet organizational goals as a company, you know, uh, that serves so many different purposes in communities. Uh, uh, you know, it's no surprise that project management is a huge part of organization success. Um, so many of our uh, project managers are described uh, as program managers um, because they manage uh, multiple projects. So uh, there are different products in the world and services teams or uh, you know, uh, programs that there are thousands of users and uh, you know, uh, we'd have to have uh, better project managers or program managers to run it smoothly. Uh, so I'm a... Um, you know, a project manager myself and uh, my team is responsible for ensuring uh, that the technology we produce, the research we pursue and the publications we put out, you know, all are done, uh, you know, in compliance with the laws and, uh, you know, all the principles uh, involved in our organization. You know, I review all these processes and the type of technologies that we use and I give ideas of how to continue uh, innovating, uh, you know, re responsibly uh, to meet our organizational goals. So responsibility is key here. So, you know, we'd have to add value to our project management. So it's not only managing the project, but also, you know, uh, adding value to the managing uh, process there. So, you know, I think hopefully you have a better sense of what a project management is and what a project is and why project management is an important part of every company and uh, how it is vital to actually uh, vital to a project success. All right, now next up we'll learn more about what a project manager does. So we have covered what project management is and uh, why it's so important to organizations. Now let's learn about uh, project managers and what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, 
uh, you know, managers usually uh, follow a process that involves, uh, you know, planning, organizing, managing tasks, and, uh, you know, budgeting, controlling costs. And uh, also there are so many factors depending upon the project. And everything they do helps make sure that the project can be completed on time and on budget. Uh, in broad terms, a project manager also needs uh, uh, to make sure uh, that the project outcome is bringing value to the company. A project manager can also add value in many different ways, whether uh, that's creating a new service for customers or uh, old service, uh, you know, or modifying the old service. So it's more tra tailored uh, to the customer's needs. Uh, so no matter what the task is, a successful project manager always adds value to the project. And uh, it is the duty of project manager to make sure that everything is uh, seamless and valuable and successful. So you may be asking yourself, you know, well, if I'm a project manager, how do I add value to an organization? So every day, you know, uh, when you're an organization, you know, uh, when you're a project manager, you know, you would have to have certain responsibilities. You know, the responsibilities may vary depending on the project or the industry and the company that you're working on. You, uh, you know, for example, if you're constructing a new building and uh, you're, the, you're the project managing a renewable energy production, uh, you know, as a startup or you're setting up your own event, you know, um, uh, you have to have your tasks and these tasks will vary depending upon the scenarios um, and your day's work might vary depending upon where you're working at because different projects have different outcomes. So, but when you boil it down, it's going to be, you know, planning, organizing and uh, gathering requirements, you know, um, talking, communicating with teammates or uh, communicating with customers figuring out what exactly do they want, you know, for a better working environment or uh, as a result of the project, you know. Um, so you may also, uh, you know, be on a creating project, uh, you know, where you will be creating plans, uh, you know, planning is a key part of project management. It helps to, to set the tone of the project. So it keeps everyone on pace and aligned and helps move tasks along uh, with the leads. Managing tasks is very important and once it's underway, the project manager helps manage the tasks for team members and communicates key milestones uh, to the larger team or customers. You know. Uh, this helps in the team members uh, and customers updated every time. So, uh, so that's why communication is very important. And uh, you know, progressing. Um, and also the third piece is budgeting. Budgeting is like controlling costs. You'd have to be managing the budget very carefully because every cost uh, is a responsibility. The project managers have to understand to uh, keep the project on track uh, within the budget. And uh, this is like a full-time job, actually, budget management, uh, because you've created and managed a business, but you know, cost-effective budgeting is really important. And there are gonna be unexpected costs that will come up during the project. And, um, you know, I could go on for days you know, talking about unexpected costs, but you know, you get the gist of it. So in a day-to-day -day, uh, activity, project manager comes up with, you know, unexpected costs and how to handle it efficiently and what are the methodologies every single day that a project manager will be using. Um, personally, there's gonna be a dull moment, but uh, forget about it. Um, so the manager uh, is actually responsible for uh, growth from start to finish. So it's really important to create something from nothing uh, and working from a ground up. And it's really satisfying feeling that, you know, as a project manager, if you're able to overcome all these problems and then uh, create the end result. So there are a lot of skills involved in this. You might, uh, that you might already have. Uh, let's discuss all those skills. So uh, let's get right into it and explore the variety of your skills. Uh, that you'll be using uh, 
uh, you have ever been tasked with uh, planning <clears throat> a loved one's surprise a birthday party there's usually a lot of pressure and uh, you know responsibility but when it uh, gets to the point when you get it right uh, it feels so amazing you know um, that's still uh, that's still very important uh, but there are issues that come up with the birthday party and you know uh, someone would be coming earlier than expected someone would be late and uh, you would have to manage that efficiently so that the end result that is the birthday party you know uh, that you planned is a successful birthday party and uh, you know um, you know right from choosing the venue you know invitations uh, the budget and the number of guests that you are uh, inviting to the party and uh, you know that involves management skills you know <clears throat> again let's talk about the management skills like organizing planning managing tasks you know budgeting and controlling costs uh, and more uh, so or maybe you have never planned a birthday party before so you have ever worked in a, uh, or you never worked in a retail space before or you are in a service industry and you don't know how that works so there might be a little research that is involved in better project management so research is very very important so um you know you might be uh, in charge of managing several employees you know uh, schedules uh, that you do on a daily basis and you you would have to plan on organizing them and you'd have to talk about the working style of employees and uh, you know to make it productive and you, know, you also have to make sure that everybody is uh, you know on the target and uh, uh, they complete their shifts properly and you know um, you have to manage their availability and uh, you know um, you might have to face some relocation issues remote job you know opportunities uh, to successfully move all of your uh, you know work to some uh, some other location and uh, you also have to budget that and uh, it all uh, involves costs you know a cost for moving companies is a lot usually you know because there are so many miscellaneous expenses and uh, that would not rightly fit into the budget so clearly you know the project's outcome always determines how project management needs to be done and you know when you arrive at the new place uh, say you shifted the company and then you would have to handle some of the tasks like studying about the new place uh, you know new logistics new uh, environment you would have to advance and sharpen these skills uh, uh, so that you'll be equipped to manage new environments and uh, there are going to be bigger daunting tasks than you expected and there's going to be a lot of abilities that you need to learn and uh, you know the project success are a great selling point and motivation for performing uh, these tasks <clears throat> So, um, you know, you would have to be diligent uh, in job interviews to uh, demonstrate your skills. For instance, uh, if you are asked questions like, tell me about a time when you had to juggle several tasks at once, you know, uh, or uh, tell me about a time when you have to influence a customer or a teammate to uh, perform the job well or to uh, establish a desired outcome. So they would also talk about time management and leadership in interviews. Uh, so both of your uh, everyday life and your previous works, places, you know, um, you thinking about all of the skills that you already have, you know, can be used in future uh, project management and uh, in interviews for a project management role. So up next, uh, we'll be learning more about the types of project management roles and that will be qualified for and uh, this program uh, you know after this program we'll also discuss how to start exploring the various opportunities that are available for a project manager responsible innovation is really important so in everyday life so we can use project management when you have only a couple of hours left in a day and uh, you have to figure out uh, how well I would have to clean my house or go to the grocery store and uh, how long um, you know each of these tasks are gonna take me um, you know those are just different elements of variations uh, of program management and uh, 
uh, project management if you ask me and uh, you know um, my path to project management is pretty non-traditional I didn't go like you know following all that you know graduation or anything you know I would have to use my skills by learning them first and then I would have to gain credentials you know in order to actually become a better project manager so I taught myself how to code and I built a whole lot of uh, websites. I realized I didn't have to, you know, make sure that I would have to be uh, a perfect mature adult. I went on, worked with different jobs until I found this project management. So I came uh, to work for a company and, um, you know, I thought I could be technical and I started learning technical stuff applications, working with CRMs, working with, you know, workspaces and all that, you know, uh, managing emails. And that's when I heard about, you know, a project management position uh, in another company. And I started working there because I thought it was super cool, you know, managing a project and all. <laughs> So uh, if you are a project manager, you know, it would be your responsibility that, uh, you know, your work looks different from all others and it's innovative. So innovation is really important. And uh, you can, uh, you know, from coding uh, for a day long coding exercise, you know, a computer screen was something very, very difficult for me at that particular time. Uh, you know, even though I was working as a project manager, you know, I would have to also uh, do a little bit of coding because you know transition from one job to the to the other is going to be really really challenging and uh, you know to actually becoming one project manager myself was a very difficult journey uh, because account accountability is really important you know uh, you cannot you know go ahead and start doing a project management without having any skills you know even though if i'm a better better coder you know, I cannot, uh, you know, perform the project management at once. So I had to do a certification. So, you know, to equip myself to uh, improve uh, project management skills. And, uh, you know, usually I'm not very good with employees and I don't talk to them uh, very well. Um, and, you know, especially talking to customers is really important and uh, making sure that we address their issues on time is very important. So uh, those are the things that I really struggle with, but for you, it might be very different uh, because uh, you, know, you might have a uh, different scenario than me. Uh, you're even better equipped than me, uh, yes. So, um, you know, uh, the story varies for different project managers, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, if you learn the skills to be a project manager, you are a project manager. And uh, if you do a pretty good job at it, then you can rise high in the ranks. So for bringing people together and, uh, you know, making everybody on the same page was also a very big difficulty for me uh, because I did not possess the people skills and, uh, you know, uh, so I had to learn all that to manage people, to manage, you know, surroundings, to manage everything technically, to resolve a conflict or to work an idea and then making sure that everybody believes in that idea. Uh, you know, those are the skills that you need uh, in a project manager. So in everyday life, uh, you know, uh, to keep your tasks together, you know, uh, that applies for a project management is very easy but it takes time for us to understand and you'd have to be intentional and um, there's going to be a lot of paperwork that's going to be involved and uh, i think now uh, you have a general understanding of what is needed for a project manager and what does he do so let's focus on the types of jobs that you may be qualified for after completing this program and to start, I've got a question for you. So how many uh, open roles do you think are out and there are for project manager? So the answer is very big number. So project managers are high in demand. So all over the world, you know, they are looking for project managers. Uh, so a study by Project Management Institute 
said that you know employers will need 87.7 million people filling project management aligned roles. Uh, so according to that same study, you know, the industries uh, with most growth are uh, manufacturing and construction, information services, um, publishing, managing publishing, professional services, uh, finance companies, you know, insurance companies, uh, oil companies and gas. Uh, you know, project management facilities, you know, um, all of these industries uh, grow in spectacular number and you'll find the term project manager everywhere popping up in the jobs. So uh, it is very important uh, to qualify for a project manager. So uh, say, for example, if you want to become a construction project manager or engineering project manager, you know, uh, you would have to know all about construction, how it works and all that regarding, uh, you know, related to the industries. And it's important to keep in mind that the skills you learn in the industry, you know, steers with the industry and is, it does not apply to the other industry. So uh, <laughs> projects are popping up every single day. Every project is different and uh, it is across all industries and we notice that the technology they might be using are also different so um, you'd have to learn those technologies you know which leads to processes you know and you'd have to manage processes involving uh, those companies and um, you know there are project managers who can really tackle a variety of projects from start to finish they are ready to learn on the go and uh, they are ready to navigate our own struggles and hurdles to uh, <clears throat> you know come across those project management issues so mainly you know uh, i think the difficult part is organizing and planning you know uh, also problem solving you know uh, budgeting cost uh, cutting and all that um, you know in everyday life we reflect on the same you know while we live you know, we do a lot of uh, shopping, we cut on shopping, we, you know, uh, we do a lot of things to manage our house. So it's going to be similar, but in a in larger scale. Uh, so uh, you're thinking about these things can help, uh, you know, find suitable roles, you know, later. Uh, but what you're doing already at your house is really enough, you know, to start with. So, um, so initially I didn't like much uh, about project management but now I am like a fan of project management and it's uh, sort of something that I do on a daily basis. So the beauty of project management is that you don't need to be an expert and uh, you know you don't have to be very technical you know you can have people doing that for you and just need to be able to manage those people and uh, you know either it's a construction company or a technology company uh, you know if you're a project manager there you could enter a healthcare industry too you know you can work in patient management uh, you can enter energy sector you know you can work for an NGO or environmental project manager uh, the possibilities are almost endless uh, and uh, that's equally exciting you know is that you could even uh, end up becoming a completely different uh, person altogether uh, you'd be uh, leading a completely different uh, career altogether so there are going to be a sequence of ongoing projects in a company too if you're working for a large organization so uh, there are going to be operations uh, there's going to be you know security there's going to be upper management lower management all these uh, you know, roles in a very large corporate company. So, um, you know, uh, there are going to be a lot of titles that you're being, uh, that you're going to be working with. There's going to be head of operations, there's going to be head of security, there's going to be, you know, um, finance teams and all that in a big organization. So you would have to be a person who is really communicative, who's really, you know, uh, into communicating with all these people and bringing out the outcomes. So, um, for example, you know, the workload and specific tasks uh, at a small agency uh, will be different from those at uh, bigger organizations like Google. So it's very important to uh, keep in mind that the world, you know, continues to change and the companies continues to change and we evolve as the industries evolve and the job opportunities that you're going to find as a project manager uh, are going to be different depending upon the project 
and uh, it's going to be wide. So as a project manager, you'll be qualified for more and more jobs depending upon the portfolio that you build. And uh, there's going to be a lot of project management related jobs. There are plenty of other roles related to project management too. So um, there's going to be uh, some internships. Uh, sometimes a good place to start is an internship where you will be working on real life problems, you know, short term and you would gain experience uh, working for a certain company in a specific project and you would learn a lot of management skills there. So this will help you boost your resume and uh, yourself uh, from other candidates uh, who are applying for the same project manager position. So, so you'd have to really get a work experience on the real world. So while simultaneously networking with the people that you know in the industry, you know it's a win-win now and then to have some internships uh, in the field that you're interested in. Um, you know the project manager, you know, doesn't have to be technical, but has to know everything that happens technically in an organization. Let's talk about an events manager uh, intern. So if you're an intern in an event management company, you know, it can be a very tiring work, you know, because you'd have to plan the venue, the places that you're going to have, uh, you know, host events, the guests, and how much people are going to be there and all that. So what are you going to do? You know, it's going to be um, very important. So let's talk about contract. A contract means you will work with them for a particular project, but you won't be a full-time employee. So you'd be working with them on a full-time project. And it's a kind of work that's very popular these days. You know, uh, you don't have to be in the company, but you'll be uh, a part of one particular project in the company and you'll try to, uh, you know, have an upper hand there and prove your you know, skills as a project manager, which will in turn lead to, you know, another benefit of getting hired for another project. So this is uh, how you explore new projects uh, based on uh, building portfolios. And, uh, you know, getting into a temporary position is not a bad thing after all. You know, all you have to do is you have to prove the company that in terms of project management, I will be able to deliver. You know, uh, it doesn't matter, large or small companies, you know, if they enjoy working with you, if they enjoy the type of projects that you have already worked with and, uh, you, you know, uh, your contract position might change to a you know, permanent position. So as you keep charging forward, you know, try thinking about uh, the job that you might be interested uh, in going after because your interest also plays an important role in uh, managing the project because, you know, it brings you one step closer to your first role in a company uh, in project management and uh, one step closer to where you want to be. So um, we'll be learning how to identify and search for job titles best suited for a project manager. We'll uh, actually discuss about it now. So let's discuss about uh, a job in a pro project management field. Uh, it is no secret that a job searching on is a challenge. It's definitely a challenge. Even for the most detailed, specific job description, you know, you can't find candidates, you know, uh, who are really uh, fit for the job. So company is really seeking for a candidate who has all the skills, almost all the skills, if you ask me. So um, there are a lot of confusion nowadays, you know, about job listings, you will find more buzzwords like uh, data-driven team, self-started understanding, <laughs> you know, uh, in, the in the job listings, communicative, you know, smart team player and all that. So for you uh, to get up and grow, you know, in a project management role, uh, you know, but many companies actually, you know, list it as a skill. So, uh, you know, they might be looking for another position, but also, you know, they would include project manager in there, uh, you know, um, as a skill to hire you there. But uh, a project management skill uh, here uh, is very important but because you'd be also working on something else, but also you'd be working as a project manager. So many companies, they want to hire you as, uh, you know, a full-time employee and then have you working at project management uh, at one end. 
you can either be working in a system department and you, you might be working in security department, you'd be working in, uh, you know, data department and all that. But uh, still, they'd be requiring you to have a project management as a skill. So during job hunting, you know, keep your options open. So um, they might not be actually a project management role, but you know, if you look at the job listings, you might find a project management skill that is required over there, and you can definitely apply for those jobs. And uh, you will know what's a good fit by you know attending those interviews and you know uh, have a wide net of options. You know, don't constrict yourself to just the project management role. You know, you might not know what's in the box for you. So there might be a position of operations associate. You know, this is also another term a project assistant or a project manager uh, uh, can look at. You know, uh, for example, you are searching a job board for a project management role. Uh, you know, you might notice a community operations manager role uh, for a small city. It's going to be like something like this, you know, uh, you'll note that uh, you know, when you read the job description, you know, that, you know, matches a lot of your skill set in project management, but it's a different project. So, you know, you'd have to read the job requirements in order to know the list of required skills uh, so that you can match it with your own skills and start, uh, you know, applying for those uh, jobs. Also, there might be some budget preparation jobs, uh, you know, monitoring, you know, uh, monitoring jobs. Uh, supervising jobs and all that but also involves a lot of project management in there so you know while looking at jobs you know you would have to specifically look at uh, you know the requirements that they have listed there in order to make sure that you are the right person and you have the performance metrics that they need for that particular job all right so you know now uh, these duties are nearly uh, a perfect match uh, for any job that you're looking at and uh, you know if you look at plenty of listings uh, you know you might think oh this is too much this is great and how can i fit in no it's not like that you know you would have to show your management skills and you would have to know your interpersonal skills with the employees and the clients you might have to show some of the work that you've done already so uh, at this point in time, the companies actually prefer someone with experience rather than, you know, someone who doesn't know anything and, you know, they want to work as a project manager. So, you know, if you're a teacher, you know, there are a lot of project management skills there too. Um, so you have to uh, design a curriculum, you know, uh, you have to address students' unique needs. You know, you'd have to talk about uh, communication and there's going to be definitely a parents department in any school and you'd have to deal with heads of school. I know there's going to be admins, you know, uh, there's going to be a lot of processes, uh, standard operating procedures so you, that you need to be aware of. Uh, you know, uh, it's uh, really very important in project management. So, uh, you know, there are so many other examples too. Uh, when you want to become a project manager, you know, um, you know, if you're attending an interview at some tech company, if they ask you, you know, uh, what is your experience on project management? Uh, you know, you can talk about the internships or uh, you can talk about how you assembled a lot of people uh, in performing a particular tasks in your college or uh, in the place of your work and, uh, you know, how you are able to complete a task you know, uh, with people involved, with a lot of teams involved. You know, you can even talk about the sports, uh, sports day or, you know, something that is related to sports where you were uh, involved in captaining or, you know, showing your leadership quality in the interview is, uh, is, is somewhere uh, you can excel at. So, you know, most of the projects are goal-oriented. You know, they might not be looking at exact skill sets, but you know they might not be wanting you to play football but you know you might uh, you know they might want you to know about football and how it works and uh, if you know all about it and you are uh, you're gonna be a better team manager so this is what i am actually talking about so with the opportunities that you get uh, you know you would have to focus on 
what are the key challenges that I have in this particular job. You know, we have spoke about a lot of examples now, you know, whether being a teacher or a coach or a team manager, if you're a manager in uh, some IT tech firms, you know, what is the main thing that, you know, every project manager is looking at? You know, you'd have to learn the skills uh, of managing people, managing time, budgeting, cost allocations, uh, you know, time allocations, because time is a valuable entity and, uh, you know, uh, support to our employees, you know, talking to them, communicating to them, communicating with customers, communicating with clients, you know, making sure that the needs are addressed on time. And, um, you know, uh, that's definitely going to help you in terms of uh, project management. So there are several good practices like, you know, communicating to stakeholders, you know, managing a budget with the finance team, you know, having a planned timeline for the project, you know, especially when you are in a construction field and, uh, you know, organizing events, you know, in which order it has to happen and all that. So um, you would have to, you know, listen to a lot of uh, people's experiences managing different projects. You know, you can definitely find out so many videos like that in YouTube. Uh, and uh, you'd also want to do a case study about a, uh, you know, complex project and how did they manage to do that. And they're, you know, listening to their experiences or reading a document about their experiences is definitely going to help you. And um, also people who are in retail business, you know, you'd have to have uh, a good understanding of how retail business works and uh, what are the processes involved, standard operating procedures involved, and uh, man management skills. You know, all these are uh, very important in retail space as well. So, you know, managing resources, as uh, just we have spoke about, you know, retail. So managing resources are very important uh, in the retail setting. You know, uh, you'd have to apply a lot of these uh, you know, manpower, resources, you know, where you want to post them, you know, uh, you know, how it is uh, going to help you achieve your goals, achieve your targets of the store and all that. So, so you would have to at least uh, have a little bit of time in setting a project management timeline, how you're going to manage resources, how you're going to procure products and how you're going to sell them, inventory and all that, you know, and also a store documentation and, uh, you know, all these are very important in retail space too. So, uh, you know, in some cases you might have multiple stakeholders a business so you would have to uh, you know uh, get in touch with all of them make sure everybody's happy and uh, you know make sure the project runs smooth um, because it's gonna be day-to-day -day and uh, there must be smooth operations um, that needs to be done for these type of the retail businesses so also uh, you know a lack of confidence and uh, you know whether you know people might think that Okay, am I able to really do this? No, it's not like that. You know, everybody can do anything, but uh, you would have to, you know, uh, really focus on that and, uh, you know, improve your skills day by day and uh, start to improve yourself so that you'll be able to, you know, uh, get that, uh, you know, the place that you want to be. So um, the journey of this is upskilling yourself and, uh, uh, you know, improving your project management skills, getting to lo learn new uh, softwares, new applications, um, and, uh, you know, taking the first step is, I think, what's really important. Um, you know, uh, there, there will be, of course, fear of failure, you know, uh, getting in your way, or, uh, you know, there might be, you know, competitors who are growing, and all these uh, stress related issues for you but you know you know uh, really gaining confidence and uh, you know even though there's gonna be loss there's gonna be a uh, fear of losing you know you would have to be uh, resilient and keep your head up and uh, you know focus on the work keep doing what you do and uh, you know make it uh, you know close to perfection 
and uh, that's really important in these type of project management roles. So once you have set up your project, there's gonna be uh, hiring, you know, you gotta focus on sales, you know, you gotta set up different teams for your, you know, particular project. You know, there is one thing, you know, setting up a project is one thing, managing a project is other thing. You know, there, are, there is project management involved in both these cases. You know, you'd be working to set up the project and after that, once you set up the project, you know, you would have to start implementing the project and that uh, is actually a very tedious role. Um, because, you know, just now you implemented the, uh, the project and uh, you started the project and, uh, you know, there's a lot of hiring, there's a lot of employees that are going to come in and um, you got to manage those, uh, all that. So that is also very important in terms of project management and, you know, you've gotten the project to a good place and now it's very important that you have to implement it and keep it in control. Uh, you know, keeping it in control is, uh, you know, learning from the work that you've already done, what are the past experience that you had, uh, different processes, documentation, standard operating procedures, and you'd have to continue monitoring the company employees and uh, make sure uh, the, the mistakes that you've done uh, doesn't come back. And, uh, um, you know, uh, you, you can actually define the roles. You can uh, create, uh, you know, a, a, you know, a scenario where nothing is wrong and, uh, you know, you can keep improving and you can learn Six Sigma and a DMAC approach and ideal procedures that are involved in, you know, making the company better. And, uh, you know, you can improve sales conversions uh, by eliminating the bottleneck, uh, you know, that happens, uh, you know, for the clients, you know, which is the non-selling part, you know, what makes people want to buy the services or not to buy the product, you know, eliminating that, you know, uh, involve best practices and, uh, you know, um, you can use the previous data for that and uh, you can use the, you know, user experiences, client experiences to solve those problems so that you can discover effective and permanent solutions uh, for different problems that are many ways uh, you know, affecting the business. Project management, uh, you know, they've got different phases uh, and approaches. Everyone has their own different approach for effectively managing a project. So it's entirely up to you. And, uh, you know, uh, by delivering what's expected is the success of project management. So um, there can be different approaches. Uh, because there are different businesses, different approaches are definitely going to be there. But find the best approach that's available and uh, start implementing that and you will start to uh, reap the success in project management. And uh, I think, I hope I have uh, given a better insight on project management. And I hope this video was very helpful for you. So, um, until I meet you in the next video, thank you guys and looking forward to meet you again. Okay.